do you recommend taking nicotine, such as nicotine patches or through a vape, to increase testosterone? No, I don't recommend it at all. Uh, nicotine isn't a supplement, like, <laughs> it's a vice. Same as alcohol, it's a vice. I smoke cigars and cigarillos. I've never smoked uh, cigarettes in my entire life. I've never smoked weed in my entire life. I've never touched a vape pen, any of that crap. Because I consider all those things to be very bad for you. Uh, cigars are the, probably the, uh, they're still bad for me. <laughs> I know cigars are bad for me, but they are the least damaging of all those things. Uh, because it, it stay, the smoke just stays in your mouth, you don't inhale it. Um, and so you do get the nicotine hit. The nicotine, yes, nicotine does have an effect on reducing estrogen levels. So basically at enhancing your test it has like an androgenic effect to a degree. Uh, but is it worth taking as a supplement? No. Uh, it does, however, also, it does actually have, help you with mental clarity and focus. So enjoying a cigarillo or a cigar before I sit down for like a, you know, a session of something creative or writing or problem solving, does it help me mentally focus? Yes, it does. Just just being objective here. Do I recommend it as a supplement? No, especially if you're young. Fuck no. Uh, I didn't start like smoking cigars and cigarettes till I was fucking thirty four. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't start this shit as a young, as a young man. Like, wait till you're fucking thirty. It, like, work your ass off and then reward yourself with your first cigar at thirty or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Don't just don't just because you see all these guys on the internet fucking smoking cigars doesn't mean it. Like, oh, it looks cool. I have to do it. No, you don't have to fucking do it. Um, and nicotine patches are very strong. Uh, that would get, if you didn't, if you weren't a smoker and you, like nicotine patches are designed to get smokers off, like give them so much fucking nicotine, like pack a day smokers, so much nicotine that they don't need the cigarette. Like, so don't, I would not fuck with nicotine patches either. Um, I have some friends who, who, uh, like the uh, this, this thing is called Zin or Ziz or something. It's like a nicotine kind of bag or something. They chew or a patch they put in their lip, on the upper lip. Um, I have not enjoyed those things. They found them quite enjoyable um, and give you that nicotine buzz without having to smoke anything. So there's that. But again, it's probably, it's probably still too stimulating. Probably still too much nicotine in there for someone who's never you know smoked or anything to want that buzz. So do I recommend? Is a long-winded answer, and so it's a. Um, a nuanced answer I've given you. I'm not going to give you a black and white answer because it's your life and you have to decide for yourself. But I'm, I'm telling you the, the pros and cons in an objective way. So you can do with that information what you will.